two taking the front grill off. Of course, you gotta take these plastic peats off and then these clips right here. You didn't have to take those off. I took them off by accident, so I'm gonna put them back in. Then you got a 10 millimeter bolt. I don't know if you can see right there and right there on both sides. And that's all you need to do on the top. And then on the bottom, there's one, two, three, four clips that need to come out. You're gonna need a screwdriver, a small Phillips, because they look like this. You need to push it through. And some of them break, because they don't always stay in, as you can see on that one, kind of popped out. But I can slide that one back in and reuse it. Um, then, once you push this back, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bolt right there, it's a 10 millimeter. You gotta take out there. And one, sorry for the glare, guys. One right here on each side you gotta take out. And then you can just pop this out, and then your whole front end will come off. Um, you do gotta take the little, you don't have to take it off, you just gotta take these bolts off up front that connects it to, I took it off because like I said, I already had my other piece. I did an oil change a couple weeks ago. So I already had that one plastic piece off. So I just took the whole piece off. I just felt it was easier. Um, and then when you get on this side, the passenger side, there's a wire harness that connects everything to your front bumper. You need to disconnect that, so be careful. Um, I did it by myself the first time I put my intercooler on. It's a little difficult. My brother's here now. So he's gonna help me and take that one piece off. And then I'll do another video to show you guys the intercooler set up in the water pump. I mean, not water pump, but the pump for the intercooler. Thanks for watching.